Hey there guys, it's Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 16215. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 16199. Now when I mean a number of new, I actually mean it this time. There are a ton of new features and enhancements in this build that we're going to look at today. Uh, so diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with Start and the Action Center. They are now featuring Fluent Design designs. They are now featuring acrylic blur in the background and whatnot. So if you open up a window here and uh, place it behind start, you'll see that there's a slightly different blur to it now, which is very nice indeed. And that's the same with the uh, action center here. Some slight redesigns with the quick actions down here. And if we pop a notification, you'll see that they also look slightly different. Let's uh, open up our notifications visualizer. Let's pop a messaging one. Pop toast, you'll see that that's slightly different now. And if we go into the action center here, you'll see that it looks different in there as well, which uh, I think is pretty nice. Moving right along to the next noteworthy changes, you can now pin websites from Microsoft Edge. So if we go to Windows Central here, if I could spell Windows Central right, we can now pin that to our beautiful taskbar. So if we go down here, Pin this page to the taskbar, it shows up down there with the logo and everything, which is fantastic. And if I click on that, it simply pops straight in to the Microsoft Edge web browser and launches that tab, which takes you to the website that you've got pinned. There's also a full screen mode now. If we come up here, we can go into full screen mode, which is uh, that button. There we go. And it behaves in full screen mode, much like you would expect it to. This is fantastic. Another thing that many insiders have been asking for you can also now annotate books in Edge. I don't have a book installed here, so I can't actually demo that, but you can now annotate them. Hooray. Now, Cortana is a lot smarter as well in this build. For example, if you take a picture of a poster on your phone or something and it gets uploaded to OneDrive, Cortana can actually see that poster and try to create reminders for you. Say, for example, you take a picture of a concert poster that has dates on it. Cortana can say, hey, I can see these dates. Would you like me to add these to your reminders? And then you can say yes or no, whatever you want to. Pretty nice. Uh, Cortana is a lot more advanced and more intelligent in this build, which uh, is nice to see. Now, there's also some new handwriting experiences with this build. If we open up the touch keyboard here, uh, you'll see that, well, from here, it looks pretty much the same. But if we go here and tap on this one, you'll see that it gets a little bit smaller. I'm sure that's a bug for now. But there's one specific... Um, change to uh, this tiny keyboard here and that's the fact that it now supports swiping much like on windows phones so i can do the the normal quick brown fox jumps over the lazy wow turns out i can't do it on a laptop but <laughs> you get the idea you can now do your swipes when you're typing and stuff which is pretty nice you can also dock it to either side this is still uh, software also it does dictation does this understand me i'm not asian but good try windows um Let's try, you can do your normal um, handwriting. Stop listening. You can, clearly, I'm not, I'm done. L-O-L. -L. There we go. Go. <laughs> you can do all that. And then, of course, you've also got your old-fashioned keyboard as well. Uh, let's go back to this one. So, yeah, this one doesn't do the swiping yet. It's the smaller one that does. But I'm, sh I'm sure over time this will... <laughs> get bigger and be more appropriately sized for the screen that we're using here. We can move it around the screen if we so wish. Uh, it's, uh, it's only... There we go. So I'll try again. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy... Dog. Good enough. That's that's closer than what I was before. But you get the idea. There's now swiping key... The, the swiping keyboard. I believe they call it shape writing. Shape writing is coming to uh, desktop as well now, which uh, is fantastic to say the least. There's also a new find my pen option. Now, I don't actually have a pen hooked up to this. Let's see if I can show this off. Come on, start menu, please show up. There we go. If we go into find my device. Yeah, it's not here, but basically in this area now, if I have a pen hooked up via Bluetooth, it shows up here as well. And you can use the find my device area to uh, find your pen as well. So if you lose your pen, that's uh, pretty handy. Also, again, more pen options. If you have pen here, you can now scroll in Microsoft Edge. And we can pretend I have a pen here by going to Windows Central and simply scrolling. So look, imagine I'm using a pen and now I'm scrolling on the web page. That's what the pen does. Fantastic. Furthermore, there's now an emoji keyboard. If I press the Windows key and the full stop button, it didn't work. Let's try maybe up here. Hooray! I now get a dedicated emoji picker where I can 
insert love hearts. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Uh, let's try love heart. Yay. Oh, I'm one at a time, apparently. But um, yeah, I can now add in uh, emojis quite easily, which uh, is a godsend for those of you who enjoy emojis. Um, what else is new here? Uh, we have, so there are also improvements to the share UI now. If I come up here, you'll see that not only would I get options to share with people directly from my People Hub, I also get the option to copy a link directly to my clipboard like that. And that link is now copied and I can paste that wherever I feel. Oh, if you jump into uh, personalization here, you'll see that uh, there's a new video playback area, which now works compared to Build 16.2.2. And uh, apparently Microsoft is building a uh, video playback platform into Windows. Maybe it's already there. Now it's got a dedicated page. I don't know. But it's here and it allows you to mess up with a bunch of video playback settings, such as automatically being able to process video to enhance it. That sounds like that should be on. Probably shouldn't. Oh, well. So yeah, and there's also stream HDR video option, which is nice. Allow video to play at low resolutions. Uh, when on battery, uh, there's an option that doesn't actually do anything yet. I'll drop down menu. And I can also have the option to decrease resolution when on battery, disable HDR when on battery, and uh, disable all other enhancements. So there's a lot of things here you can mess with now, especially if you're big on watching videos. Also in the main settings area here, you'll see that Cortana has uh, moved from being last to being third from last, which uh, is a much more sensible place for it. Also, Remote Desktop now has its own area in the Modern Settings app. It's being moved from wherever it was before, and it now has a place in the Settings app. And if I turn it on, I can now enable Remote Desktop. I'm not going to do that, though. Also, another thing I've noticed is when you drag the start menu out now, it's a lot smoother than what it was before. Before, what it would simply do is snap to each area where it could be, but now it's nice and smooth. So if I drop it somewhere where it cannot be locked to, it will just simply snap back to the previous area where it could be snapped, which I believe is a much nicer change and uh, just it's a, a lot more user friendly. The same with going up and down, although the one going up and down was always the case. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at build 16215. There's a lot more new in this build stuff that I simply can't show you because it's either under the hood or just not a consumer facing feature. Make sure you check out the Windows blog for more on this build, including known issues and whatnot. There are a few known issues that you should be aware of. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. That is downloading now, so I guess that means... No, I don't have an update here. So if I have a Defender update downloading, for example, it will say, this update is 70% downloaded. Or, I don't know, because <laughs> I think Windows already does that. I'm going to cut that bit out of the video.